France just fined Apple $27 million for intentionally slowing down older iPhones back in 2017. Let me explain. So France's Competition and Fraud Board, or the DGCCRF, uh, just fined Apple $27.3 million for slowing down iPhones back in 2017. You guys may remember this, this was a pretty big deal. In fact, Apple did admit fault in this situation and was offering battery replacements for $29. In fact, 11 million people took advantage of that battery program back in 2017, 2018. You could go into any Apple store at the time, swap out your battery, and it would fix the issue. Now I have no issue with Apple admitting fault in this. I have no issue with Apple paying the fine. I kind of have no issue with France even issuing the fine. What I kind of have a little bit of an issue with here is the way that this is being presented in the public. So you're going to see a lot of articles going around today about Apple intentionally slowing down phones and you're going to see the word planned obsolescence. Now planned obsolescence is a pretty basic term. It basically means that a manufacturer made a product and planned in the manufacturing of that product for it to break so that you would have to replace it. In other words, they plan for the device to be obsolete. That's where I have the biggest issue with this particular story, the fine, the whole situation. First of all, in a lot of reporting, you're going to see that these are older devices, which is patently false. What is actually older is not the phone itself, it's the battery. Most, if not all, smartphones these days use lithium ion batteries. The thing with a lithium ion battery is that it is made to degrade over time. It's just physics. They're kind of like tires on your car. You drive your car for 50,000 miles, it's time to change your tires. If you use your cell phone battery for a while, it's going to degrade, it's going to break down, and you're going to have to replace it in order for it to continue to work the way that it's supposed to. And I'm sure you've experienced this yourself. If you've ever had a phone for longer than two years, it just doesn't seem to hold the same charge that it used to. That's because it can't. It's physics. A lithium ion battery will not retain the same amount of charge forever. Now in 2017, you'll probably remember the Apple's iPhone 6, which was a huge launch. It's when the iPhone went to the larger sizes. A lot of those devices were around two years years old at that point in time, which means that the batteries were starting to get to the point that they were degrading and not able to keep the same capacity and performance that they used to. The way this problem manifested itself, your phone would either drain really fast, it would get to 15% and all of a sudden jump down to 2 or 3%, or it would just die randomly all the time. Now we can all agree that that's a pretty significant problem. So what Apple did to combat the issue was in the software made it so that if your phone got to 80% capacity, it would stop performing at peak performance. In other words, it would slow down and not hit the processor quite as hard so you could get more battery out of your device for a longer period of time. Now some people, including France apparently, thought that this was planned obsolescence. In other words, that Apple was intentionally slowing down your phone in order to sell you a new one. Now what I personally believe is that Apple was making a choice. And in all of technology, you've got choices and trade-offs that you have to make. In this situation, Apple was deciding that your phone dying at random or just depleting really quickly was worse than your phone running a little bit slower than it used to. The scenario I like to think of in this situation is it's 3 a.m., you're in an unfamiliar familiar part of town, you've had your phone on all day, all of a sudden you go to pick it up to get your maps to get back home, boom, it dies instantaneously, and you don't have a way to get home. That's not a very safe environment. I think in that scenario or that trade-off, you'd probably rather have your phone run a little bit slower all day and still have your battery versus your phone just randomly dying when you really need it the most. Now, if Apple was truly planning the obsolescence of their devices, I don't think from a software perspective, they would be supporting iOS 13 all the way back to the iPhone 6. Yeah, iPhone 6 came out in 2014, that was six years ago. If they wanted you to update your phone and to buy a new phone, they wouldn't be supporting it with software all the way back that long. And ultimately, I feel like Apple generally tries to play the long game here. Another scenario is if you have an older device, let's say it's an iPhone 6 that's six years old, if your phone starts to perform really poorly, which in all honesty, it's six years old, it might be performing poorly, but if your phone starts to really kind of crap out, you're gonna have a bad experience. You're not gonna think, well, hey, my phone is six years old, I guess it probably makes sense I should get a new one. You're gonna think, man, my iPhone sucks, I should get a different phone. So I believe it's in Apple's best interest to continue to support 
support these older devices. Whether it's through software updates or hardware or battery replacements, whatever your phone needs, Apple is willing to support older devices, which is not always a guarantee these days. I'm looking at you, Sonos. So again, Apple did intentionally make these devices run slower as a trade-off to be able to have the device perform at a level that's kind of within expectation of what a device should perform. It runs all the time, it doesn't randomly shut off, and the battery doesn't deplete from 15% to 0% instantaneously. I think that's a fair trade-off. And since 2017, Apple's gone through a lot of strides to inform users about the health of their battery. If you go into your settings, there's a whole section dedicated to your battery, where you can turn low power mode off and on, look at your overall battery health, look at your last charge level, and how your battery has performed on the last 24 hours or the last 10 days. And if you go into battery health, you're going to see the maximum capacity that your battery currently has. Again, Apple still thinks that the right decision is to throttle the processor once your battery goes over 80%. If you get below 80%, it's going to slow down the phone still, but Apple's going to do a better job to inform you of why they're doing it and what you can do to fix it, which by the way, is not buy a new phone, they're going to tell you to replace the battery. So knowing that's how Apple continues to approach the problem today, I can't really say that this is planned obsolescence. They're telling you to replace the battery, not replace the device. That doesn't sound to me like planned obsolescence. Thanks for watching.